Hi, I'm Max Walker-Williams, and today I'm here at Burgess Beds. These are our suppliers at the Hotel Chester and our other apart hotels. They hand make here in the UK the most comfortable mattresses in the world by hand. We're going to go and see how they do it. Okay guys, so I'm now with Matt Dwyer, the Managing Director of Burgess Beds. Hiya. Hi Max. Hi. So, just I wanted to uh, uh, meet you guys, as, as I've already alluded to, to, the, to the audience, that you supply our hotels with what I consider to be the most comfortable beds on planet Earth. So we just wanted to come up and see what goes into making uh, one of these amazing beds and mattresses. But before we go into the warehouse, I just want to have a quick chat with Matt and just get a bit of the history of the business, where where, you, where you've been, where you are, and where kind of where you're going. Okay, well, uh, thanks for thanks for calling in. Welcome. welcome to welcome to Burgess Bedding. Um, Burgess is a brand. Uh, it was founded in 1927 in the centre of Manchester, uh, and obviously it's gone through uh, wartime history. has gone through a great deal of history in in the UK, and it's provided. Luxury mattresses and beds um, within the UK and across the world for, for many, many years. Um, during its time, the brand has been owned by only a couple of different people. Um, and the difficulties, uh, or entered some financial difficulties in uh, 2019, 2020, uh, and which resulted in the company going into administration. Now, during that time, um, we became involved and um, as a brand and such a powerful brand with such great products and you'll see when you come around today some absolutely amazing people some outstanding skills it was just a brand that we just couldn't afford to let let lie so uh, together with a partner and an investor we got together and in the nick of time managed to do a deal with the administrator mm. um, to purchase the brand um, really and um, what we've our, our intention is to invest heavily uh, in the brand in the people in the building and in the product um, and, and as a, a, a traditional British company with 90 odd years of handcrafting and skills to really try and showcase that because we believe that it's a skill that's not just uh, attractive to a UK market, uh, it's, it's attractive to a global market. And you know, ultimately, the reason we, we like working with partners such as, uh, such as Max is, you know, effectively, we're in the same, they're in the same industry. Our aim is to sell luxury sleep and create great sleeping environments for people. So the more we can do that by uh, harnessing the best of materials, the best of products and the best of skills with, with the history, um, we should be able to make some, some pretty exciting products. And that is so interesting. So, so the, the, the business was you know, in, in trouble and yeah. you saved it from the ashes like a phoenix <laughs> and now it's rising up. I think that's absolutely amazing. So you've got this incredible brands that you, that you say that you, you're bringing through and all of the skill and the trades because a lot of people assume that industry is dead in the UK in terms of we don't make anything anymore, we just import stuff, you know, everything's coming from China. But that isn't the case. And actually, it's starting to go the other way. You were mentioning off camera that you're, you're actually exporting to China. So I think that's absolutely amazing yeah. that, we're, you know, we're, we're in, a, in our own little way, we're turning the tide and we're actually now sending stuff that's handmade, skilled here in the UK, and we're sending that over to other countries. No, I, I, absolutely. And, and the key to it is, and one of the biggest challenges that we've got as, as an industry, as a country, um, and, and as a market is that, that the fact that overseas markets see that handcrafted in, in Britain, handcrafted in England and skills and traditions are so valuable. And our key really is to make sure that right here in, in the UK, we, we can harness that and we can actually start to grow. And, um, you know, the people in the wider market can, can really start to um, select a British choice, a handcrafted choice and better value stuff because we've seen all the, you know, the imported materials coming into the UK. Um, and quite often copied off a lot of the UK stuff. And, you know, there's so many things that we can do better actually right here. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And also, of course, for people who are interested in in, in preserving UK skills, but also for the, for the um, wider economy, it helps keeping that money in the UK and in British pockets. And on top of that, it helps the environment because stuff's absolutely. not being shipped over from China. It's being made here in the UK. And, and I assume wherever possible, your materials are, are locally sourced, are they? Or we, we, we purchase as much as we possibly can from the UK. Um, and that suits us in terms of... Um, materially in terms of finance, in terms of um, logistics, yeah. but also in terms of our exposure and risk. Um, you know, we've seen many things now with, with imported materials and problems with containers being shipped in and the increasing cost of containerization. Whereas if we can buy as locally as possible, then that limits us from, from that potential exposure. And in fact, we've, we've a new range of, of beds, the Lancastrian collection, where we're trying to buy as much as we physically can actually in the county of Lancashire. So for example, the, the, the ticking that we see on these mattresses, that's woven, I think six miles away at a 200 year old weaving factory in Burnley. Right, okay. We're using wool from, um, not from Lancashire, but using kind of top wool from and top lambs wool and Shropshire top wool. So British trying to really farms, yeah. springs that are all Amazing. made within within the UK. Trying to you know and put a little bit back. We're trying to talk to farmers about bringing wool to us to you know to enable us to get closer and closer and closer to where the materials come from that's amazing and that's the way that's the way forward isn't it that's the future now is very much it, it's almost gone full circle isn't it because yeah. i imagine when burger started it was all it was it wasn't nothing was being imported from china it was all locally sourced yeah. and, then, and then it's all gone to import and now it's going yeah. full cycle all the way back to local farmers you know it's you know, amazing dave around the corner bringing his exactly. his wall down to you you know it steps off amazing. and it's like all of everything's bought locally and then the kind of big developments are, we'll buy all our materials from the big wide world outside there and we'll keep everything in the UK. Now what we want to do is buy all our materials from the little world and export the finished products to the big wide world. Yeah. And it's, it's you know, and I think for, for, for a brand and the history and the heritage, it, it's something that can be really important for us because we've got to look and try and find something that makes us a little bit different because yeah. there's lots and lots of fantastic bed and mattress companies in this country. We, we, we're outstanding at it. Uh, where do we sit on the world stage as a country? I have no idea. Is, are we, you know, are we the best? In the, are we renowned sort of in uh, your think, industry for being one of the best bed manufacturers? You know what? I think Brian Clough once said, I'm, I'm not, I might not be the best manager in the world, but I'm in the top one or two. And I think the UK probably are still within the one or two. And if you look at, particularly in the States and look around the world, there's one or two real marquee brands in the UK who will export around the world and, and, and um, kind of pretty well regarded, but, but can command extremely high prices around the world. Mm. Um, mm. And, and, you know, like I say, we are in the, we're in the top one or two of, 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 of handcraft. And it's about the, it's the method of manufacture. There are, there are lots of expensive mattresses around the world, but they're not all, they're not all created with the, you know, with the hand side stitching, with the hand filling, with the taping, with the tufting. And it's a look, it's a very, very English or British look, which, um, which sells particularly well overseas. Okay. Well, we're going to have a look at, I don't know, any of the things you've just said. I don't know what any of them mean, but we're going to find out in a second. Neither do I. I saw it written on the wall. And we'll <laughs> you, yeah, you just read it off a pamphlet. Read it off a pamphlet. Yeah, okay. So we're in the showroom at the moment, and you've got a different selection of, of beds here behind us. Is there anything you want, you want to particularly, I know you mentioned there the Lancashire range. Is there anything you want to particularly talk us through in terms of, of, of the different thing, products that you have? Is there something that's more commercial and something that's more, so anybody watching this who's considering yeah. having a Burgess bed at home, which, which is kind of where they should be, or, or, or could they look at any? They can look at any, and we, we try to pride ourselves that Burgess were formed in Manchester in 1927, mm -hmm. and we know that in the northwest of England it's not necessarily the most affluent part of the world, and I have this kind of almost romantic belief that a working man or lady in Manchester should be able to afford a bed that's made in, in, in Manchester or in, in Lancashire, so mm. our range, we don't sell directly to the public, everything goes through our retailers, Yes. Um, but our, our range, we would start from... Um, you know the mid mid hundreds and we'll go up into the thousands because we like to think that uh, we can we can manufacture a mattress or a bed which will fit into any home right um, okay okay well that's amazing to know that so you've got a sort of um something to cater for every every budget yeah but that every mattress gets the same attention uh, quality products uh, and passion so you don't cut any corners you just make it so that it's accessible to you, yeah. you know no matter what your budget is we stay firm with our belief so when we we're talking about hand side stitching before yeah hand size stitching is effective and we'll see it in fact you're gonna have a go at it afterwards oh right um <laughs> it's, it's effectively where it is sold by hand in the thread which goes it and then takes it through the string and back out and that strengthens the sides right 
and it makes and it for that really traditional see. look, yeah. Yeah. And whereas there are many companies who who mock side stitch or hand side stitch on the They do what? So mock side. Mock side stitch, so it's done on a machine. Right. Okay. Whereas if we always think that if you're buying a Burgess and it says it's hand side stitched, then it's got to be genuinely hand yeah. side stitched. And whether that's a mattress which is five hundred pound at retail, yeah. or it's a mattress that's five thousand, ten thousand pound at retail. Yeah. If we want to stay true to our values and it's and we say it's a hand side stitched yeah. mattress, it has to be. Of course, what we vary is. The materials vary inside it. The amount of time it takes to manufacture varies. Yeah. We go more natural the higher up the ranges. And the higher up the range, you get the opportunity to personally, uh, to personalise your own mattress. So, for example, you can have, you know, it's the embroidery. It's the different Yeah, I noticed you've painting. got the grey, is it sort of piping? You've got this grey It's just grey piping, just, to, quick, just, to, cream yeah, on that just to try and stand out, make it look a little bit differently. Because ultimately, lots of our products are either in a showroom or yes. they're in a hotel room. If there's those little bits of detail that we can do that make us just stand out a little bit more, we believe we're special, but we want to tell everybody else yeah. that we're special. Yes. So it's just the little things. Well, you can definitely see that here. So, for example, you've got this. I've just noticed this uh, this little plaque here, and on it, you've got all these different. Uh, presumably, these are buttons. Are these the headboards? Or? These are studs. So studs. Okay. So, for so example, have a look at this bill. So, look at the different. So, obviously, you've got all the different sizes. But look at the little bronze Renaissance, and then you've got brass. Computer, antique, copper, it's all the different styles there. It's all about trying to give the, the consumer because, you know, we want people to believe that actually sleep's really important. Yeah. We want hotels to spend that little bit more on their beds. Yeah. And be known as me. providing great sleep. Yeah. But we also want people in their home to yeah. invest as heavily as they can in, in, in their bed and mattress because ultimately, you know, there's a there's a great line somebody once, once said, I think it's somewhere in the history of the Burgess that buy good shoes and good bed because if you're not in one, you're in the other. Yeah. And we yeah, like to be, great if, if you think over your lifespan of 10 years, which is what we guarantee for, actually spending as much as you can on a bed now, yeah. well, actually, it, it, it's, it's pennies if you yeah. take it out over the period of the time. And we want people to personalise what they want because we're a relatively small manufacturer we can give the customer what they want, we can make those little changes. So for example, with the, um, with the hotel stuff, yes. there was little things and little nuances which, which you really wanted, which yes. were important to you. Yes. And we had the ability to do that. Yes, like we've got that amazing label on the end of the bed that just say, it's yeah. a Walker Williams uh, bed uh, in, in partnership with Burgess, which is, which is we're, yeah. we're really grateful for. Yeah. So, so sorry, so these, these, are, these are studs? Yes. Yeah, and where, so where, where so do they sit on these? The, so, oh, for right, example, okay. on this on this material here, yeah, um, these are all studied, and everything gets studied by hand. Yeah, on these particular models, we have, and it's where we're talking with the ranges. We have some models which are studied in strips. Yeah, the higher up the range you go, there's an expectation that these are all done one by one by hand. So, hopefully, we've got a guy who's out there studying. Yeah, and we've tried to take it from some of the brands that we have are almost a hundred years old. Right. So, for example, wow. this 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 bed, uh, the High Grove and the Blenheim. They're, they're, they're specs and mat mattresses that have been made for many, many years. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we want to continue that, but we want to continue and keep improving on them. That's amazing. So, over, so it compounds, isn't it? Because if you continually keep improving, eventually you end up with the perfect or as near perfect mattress as possible. Not Sometimes, over a year, but over yeah, like 100 over years. Yeah, over a period of time. Yeah, and what, yeah. what we want to try and do is because sleep is, is so personal yeah. and nobody can ever tell you what's right or wrong with sleep and we get people who come in and they ask us, What's your best mattress? I said, well, it depends what it depends what you want. Yeah, because, what are you looking for? You know, and they'll say, well, if it has ten thousand springs, five thousand springs. I said, well, ultimately, everything that comes out of this factory is guaranteed for ten years. Yeah. So, if guaranteed for ten years, guaranteed for ten years. That's so, amazing. And that's every and even at the sort of entry level stuff, you guarantee yeah, that for ten yeah. years. Yeah. So wow. if it's if it's a manufacturing wow. fault or a component failure, then it'll either be replaced or repaired. That's amazing. Well, if that doesn't tell you everything you need to know about the, the quality and the belief that uh, Matt has in his brand, offering a 10-year 10 10-year guarantee is you know, unheard of. Yeah. People buy 30,000 pound cars, they, don't, they have a three-year warranty. So that's amazing. And you spend, like you say, you spend, what is it, a third of your life in bed? Yeah. So I know Bill spends more than that. But <laughs> <laughs> so you've got loads of choices on the, you've also got loads, of, I've just noticed these two books, you've got loads of choices on the materials as well. So are these for headboards? These are you, headboard do, you make the headboards too. Everything we make yeah. on site. So from we have a simple swatch which um, we work with. I think there's about 64 different fabrics in there which we work with for headboards and bases, which are on a regular ba um, the regular range, which will go out to most of our retailers or clients when they come in. And also we do a lot of work with interior design and bespoke design, where many people will bring their own fabrics to us. They'll bring their own design to us, and we have um, some really really talented ladies and gents out there mm -hmm. who can quite often look at an image, look at a photo photograph and, and know how to make that and kind of try and make try and make people's sleep dreams come true I suppose yeah. as much as anything and it's about that trying to get that unique 
the unique part. And that's not just lip service, that's actually true because as, the, as, as you know, if you watch our videos, you will have already seen the incredible sofa that Matt and his team made. And that, if that is uh, living proof that you will go above and beyond for the customer. Because I came up with a design of something that doesn't exist. I said, I want a sofa that's four meters wide and I want it to be three or four meters deep and I want it to be all one piece because I don't like cracks where things can fall down. And that's obviously been all over social media and people, yeah. a lot of people have been hashtagging sofa envy or sofa goals. Sofa yeah, so for yeah. goals, that's it. Um, so you really will do, you yeah. could do anything as, you know. Uh, you know, and the great thing is, and the really, the really important thing about us and this business and us as a business is that we, we looked at that and we got together in the team. It was actually um, our, our upholstery, and it was upholstered on site. It was actually his idea to say, well, actually, we could do this, we could do that, we could make it in pieces. But I, I, could, I could physically upholster that on site in the room. And we said, right. What do you need to be able to do it? He said, well, I need a compressor, I need this, I need this, and I need that to go. I said, well, let's, let's have a go. And every part of what we do, we make mistakes. We make lots of mistakes, but we want to try and learn from every mistake that we make and try and learn for the future. So now when we, we do that again, mm. we know what we're doing, we know how to do it. I mean, we'll charge you a lot more for it next time, but we'll, <laughs> we'll, you know, we'll do, we can do it again. <laughs> yeah. I'm laughing, you're probably true. Uh, but, you know, I absolutely get what, you, what we've got, because actually you're doing yourself a bit of a disservice there, if you don't mind me saying, because you make it sound as if it's not a great, the end result is not great, but it is. We, I mean, obviously you're a perfectionist, so you're saying, well, we've made mistakes, made a lot of mistakes, made, but actually what you ended up with, as a, particularly as a layman, I sit on it, it's comfortable, it's exactly what I asked for, and it's amazing. But you probably look and think, we do that slightly different next time, we do that slightly different next time, and improve on it, and improve on it. More in the process, the process of doing yeah. it rather than the look of it. We're really, yes. really pleased with how it looks. Good. It looks awesome, and your kids loved it as well. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, everyone who stayed there said it's absolutely amazing. They've and so the, yeah. there was ways that you know we, we could change, and we could actually make it. We could make it more efficiently. Yeah. In, okay. in, in future, and maybe some slight little changes, but no, we, we, we're really happy. We've seen we've been putting it on our social media as well. We, yeah, we, yeah. We and the response that we've had as you've seen have been, yeah. have been and, amazing. Uh, we'll, we'll meet Ian shortly, who did it, and, and yeah. we, we've told him, and Ian can be very, very proud of what he did with that because he, did, he yeah. did an awesome job. Yeah, deal. he should be. Okay, should we go onto the floor then yeah. and meet the team? So my mum stayed on a Burgess bed at the Hotel Chester and found it, found it so comfortable that she's actually ordered one for herself, and this is the actual one. So mum, here is your mattress being made. <laughs> so I went to about the side stitching yeah. and the importance of strengthening the borders, stitching the fillings and the springs together. This is what Malcolm's doing here. Yeah. So Malcolm side stitching your match. You see it with some really nice traditional wool borders. Yeah, you can see the wool in there, yeah. Stitching the border to the filling, to the springs. So not only have you seen your mum's mattress, you're gonna have a go at making part of it. Oh right, okay. Sorry mum. <laughs> <laughs> So Mal, you're gonna let Max have a, a two yes. minute two minute it looks tutorial. Like, it looks like he's enjoying it too much. What? Is there a technique? I'll come this yeah, side, is it? Side, okay. Okay. As of Mike's it up. Yeah. Now switch side. Yeah. Under. Yeah. Just through about there. Yeah. Come over. Yeah. Over the bar. Yeah. 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 Just right, okay, so it's sharp at both ends. Yeah. So, so it's good. not like a traditional needle, yes. Yeah, so you've got to be careful. Just got to be careful. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, your hands are covered in plasters and you look like you know what you're doing. So, what am I going to do? Is that what you think? <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going in there. In there, yeah. You know, just inside the line. Oh, right, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it, yeah. yeah. Inside there. Yep. Through there. Yep. And then we're going up. Over. And then. Over. To, to not to the next one. To, where, to this one? Yeah, to where that is. Right, okay. Just watch your form on that. Like that? Yeah. Yeah, and out. Yeah. And then tight. Yeah, and when you pull it, pull it to that side, because if you pull it that way, it'll rip. Right, okay. So you just pull it. There we go. Yeah. And now where's this one going? Back into there or? Side. At the side of yeah. it there, yeah? You're coming this side, yeah. you're coming through. You're coming through the right and out, and go back in on the left? Yeah. Right, got it. Because we're going that way, yeah, so that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So, like that, yeah. How do we keep it tight? How do we keep oh, it yeah, taut? I'll just show you. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Just leave that. Yeah. Right. Can you turn that way, look, just as yeah. a touch, yeah. So, coming through there. Yeah. Just a bit better. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Pull that. Right, okay. 
I'll do it again. Back in at the left. Yeah. And go out and then over the top. Like so me and Malcolm are going to go for a cup of tea now. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. your mattress will be ready in. Yeah, I was going to say. Don't hold your breath. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> always pull to. to yeah, the sorry. Left. Pull to yeah. the left like that. That's it. Is that tight enough? Yeah. Yeah. And then on the left yeah. and through. You can actually leave go of that when you go through. Right. Okay. Okay. Fine. And then over. Yeah. Yeah. And then back out this side. Yeah. And then just make sure it comes out. Yeah. There, that's it. That's yeah. It. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. Natural melt. Yeah. So you can imagine in terms of in terms of the amount of handcraft that goes into making it. Yeah. On the Savoy you've got five rows. So wow. You, so if you go five all the way, rows of all this. the way around. So it one, two, three, four, five. Wow. Five rows on four sides. Yeah. Twenty twenty lines, twenty rows of it. Is that too tight to the bloody arm out? That's alright. I've oh, blown it, Mark. No, 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 no. Show you. Look at his hat, he's covered in plaid. Prevention is yeah. better than cure. cure. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, this is it's a genuine skill. It's a skill. Like, it's a skill. It's a proper, it's a proper traditional English trade. Sorry. I wish, because this is the only this is the only downside of doing a video about this is that people can't feel what what what. I mean, that is. It's amazing. There's a simple solution for that. Yeah, come buy a bird's mattress. <laughs> to be fair, I was thinking stay at the hotel Chester, but... 40 years in bedding and 13 and a half years in side stitching. How long would, would this take, so from start to finish, with one, two, three, is it four? Um, five rows? Five, yeah. five lines? Four. Yeah, four yeah between, between four and a half to five hours. Five something, something four and a half like to that, five yeah. hours to do yeah. five yeah. all the way around. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And as we see the mattress now, what sort of stage is, if there's 10 stage, what number are we at are the, in the process? It's kind of about number two. What number happens two. with the mattress, it, it, it splits into two areas. So you get the fabrics coming in one route, and then you get the, the springs and fillings coming in another route. Yeah. So what will happen is, um, the spring will be manufactured over with Gary. Yeah. And then the borders and the border materials will be manufactured upstairs. Right. And then the two come together. Yeah. And this is the most time consuming part. So yeah. this is this is the key part of production. Yeah. So after side stitching, it'll go over to filling. From right. filling, it'll then go to taping and tufting and finishing an inspection. But there is two or three there's two or three stages which go on before that. Yeah. So the fabrics need yeah. to be sorted, yeah. the borders need to be sorted, the yeah. spring needs to be made to size. How have these got to where they are now? Are these all are these all these are the springs obviously? Do, you, yeah. do they come in in slabs or is they individual? The, how have they got? How have we got mo here? Most come in most come in roll packs. Okay. And they'll come in sort of cut to size. Yeah. But quite often because we are bespoke, yes. quite often we have to manufacture or make the springs to size or make them to fit. Right. Okay. Um, the more standard the size, the less that we actually have to do that. Yeah. Um, but obviously we are, you know, in terms of percentage, you don't know what's actually standard that comes out. Right. But we okay. Have a, and what's we have an yeah. ever growing part of bespoke where. It's virtually impossible to buy in bespoke um, springs. So What's the biggest one-piece bed you've made so far? Because uh, you've obviously you've got you've got your king. Super we don't do king. yeah. We don't do many above Emperor? sort of eight, eight foot. Eight foot square is probably about as big as we've done in eight one piece. Eight foot square. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we're gonna have to go for nine foot square at Nicholas Street. Or you've got no, if, Court Hotel. If, if you've got the access, then you can, you can you can you can get it. Malcolm's face. Nine foot square. Do you know how many hours that is? <laughs> yeah, nine foot square, Malt's paid by the mattress, so. All right, you say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not paid by the foot. Thank you, Malcolm. You're Cheers, buddy, thank you. So because so much of what we bring in is bespoke, yes. we spend a lot of time actually manufacturing and making the springs to size. Yeah. So, th so they can, so for you, because obviously you've, you've got to have um, so, some manufacturing process for your more standard sizes, your king sizes and, and, and uh, your doubles and things. Yeah. So the springs come in in, in in sheets like this, Yeah. and then I assume different sizes, different things, but in these sort of sheets. And exactly. then you can custom make if you need to, but for your sort of more factory process. Exactly. Yeah, you've got the, these. The, the more standard, the better. Of course, in the UK, we get imperial and metric, which yeah. makes it a little bit more difficult. Right. Um, but yeah, the more standard, the better. So what, what's happening here? What, what's the process? So 
Gazi Baker will have taken this from a larger frame, a larger spring size. This will be a, a mildly loose bolt size. Yeah. So what we have to do is all the springs need a perimeter. So you okay. need to get all the springs together and you need a perimeter to hold it together as it goes through production. So that's the perimeter that we can see there, the metal bar. Yeah. So yeah. What, what Gaz will have to do is change the size of the perimeter wire. Yeah. To bring it now to fit the, to suit this size of mattress. Right. Okay. So, so you have it was originally a bigger bed of springs, and yeah. then he's cut it down, and then but to hold them all together, he's put this perimeter yeah. on it. Why, yeah. why blue and white? Blue and white. Is there any reason for that? This was just one particular brand of spring that we use, which is a binary spring. Right. Which is when you look at it, it's called binary because it's ones and zeros. Okay. So you've either got a full spring or you've got a gap. And right. the theory behind it is you only use the second sets of springs when okay. you exert enough pressure to need it. Right, okay. And it's, you know, we use... Yeah, you can see, so you've you got can, one yeah. solid gap, yeah. solid gap, solid yeah. gap, and that's so the binary. It is, yeah. Right, we okay. Use, we use several different kinds of springs. We use um, springs such as these, which are in rows. We okay. have springs which are... So these which are rows. Are, which, which, are in, uh, which are nested. And it's all really about obtaining a different, different spring count, different feet. So far, when we get the feel of the mattress by the different um, thickness and diameter of the wire which goes into them. So it's about the wire and the amount of turns. Yeah. So is the it the more the springs, the softer generally a mattress, is that right? Or is usually that the, 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 the narrower, the, the thinner the gauge of the wire, yeah. then the softer the spring usually is. Okay. Yeah, brilliant. So for example, if you look at, if you feel some of these, so the thickness of the spring is will be. Yeah, have a different. look at this bit. Look, you can you can see here what 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 Matt's uh, referring to. So these ones you can see the wire inside and it's smaller, and these ones are bigger. That's that's yeah, right, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So they're but quite also, a bit bigger than them. But also you'll see, whereas with these, the the thickness of the wire yeah. inside the spring. Yeah. Oh yeah, bigger. you can see. Yeah. So that's a much thinner wire yeah. and it's smaller coil. Yeah. So and that's a much you, bigger coil and a thicker wire. So as you drop down the tension. Yeah thinner the wire normally gets yeah. and, the, and the more um, the more firm that you want the mattress to be normally thicker the wire the heavier the mattress is. Yeah because if you were sleeping on one giant spring it would be rock solid It'd and the smaller and smaller. Well yeah. the, be the benefit of a pocket spring is where, where the mattress industry developed is a pocket spring when you lay on it you only want the, you only want the spring to to work where you're laying on it. Yes. Whereas the old fashioned open coil springs are one big spring unit, they're like a flat bed. Yeah. Whereas a pocket springs, it, it will move to the individual contours of your body. Wow, and yeah, I, you can see there we've pushed in. It just, yeah. it literally, it reminds me of one of those kind of, do you remember the pins? And yeah. you put your hand in or your face in it. So it's exactly the it's same. It's that kind of concept, isn't it? Look. It's exactly the same principle. Yeah, that's amazing. But what you, what you want is when you, when you lay on this side of the mattress, you don't want this side of the mattress popping up. No. No, because yeah, when I jump on Laura, just fly off. <laughs> <laughs> so what you can see is John is, measuring up for side stitching so hey, John, before okay. it goes over to Malcolm because the importance is on particularly on something like a, a Savoy mattress which we've um, in the Hotel Chester yes there's five rows of hand side stitching yes so it's so important that they're all stay level or okay. else you don't get the protection you don't get the side support and it doesn't look right right but obviously you can imagine that if you go out on the top row yes by the time you get all the way around a five foot mattress on four things it's exaggerated by and, and the gaps will go like that and once you've stitched it yeah. you'll never be able to pull that back. So right. you'll have to bin it and start again. Wow. And so if you can imagine if you've got five hours of, of work that you've lovingly put into making a mattress and then you have to do it all again. Yeah, not happy. So this is, this is also, Hi, this, is the, okay? this is the Savoy for Walker Williams, isn't it? So this, right. is, this is your Savoy as well. Is it? Right, okay. Yeah. This is Seb and Eric. So what we're doing here, this is the filling. So you can see all the side stitching has been done. Yeah. You've got the woolen borders, yeah. you've got, we've got the fillings, there's more fillings to go on the top. So you've got cotton fillings, woolen borders, layers yeah. of wool, hessian insulator, we've okay. got, co we've got cotton. So on there as well, you get layers of mini springs. Oh yeah, look. Which is, acts as a filling layer. So you've got springs, a layer of mini springs, t titchy little things, hessian, hessian mat, hessian... Hessian insulator. Hessian so that, insulator. That helps protect from any of the springs actually coming through. So it protects the, the person laying on it from the springs. And then... This is cotton. So these are the first two layers. That. So you have... Cotton. You have cotton layers. Yeah. Um, and then... Sheep. And this is, this is... No, this is curled hair. So this is curled tail. What hair is that? So this is, this is basically curled horsetail. Horsetail. Wow. Horsetail. And then on, then on top of this, this is all done by hand teasing it. So, yeah, if you're watching the boys, so, you know, yeah. So we're going to give Max a little piece of a little piece of tail so he can tease it. This is manufactured by curling it into a rope. So it's actually it's it's curled and spun up in Cumbria, in, right, in the northwest of England, um, 
and then we will we will bring that in here and then we will open it in our little opening room we'll show you i'll show yeah. you in a minute so they literally have horse hair and then they turn it into spin it into rope and then un, they have and long, then... long tails and it gets spun into rope yeah and then it gets untwisted right so then you get lots and lots of and curls. it's really curly and tight so when you feel it it's like you feel you feel the bounce oh yeah but you can see it yeah i mean look at that nature's spring nature's spring nature's spring i might steal that yeah yeah so now yeah, what you need to you do is you. sprinkle that on oh right i'm sprinkling here we go let's have a go then so that no yeah and what am i trying to do just thin it out as much as possible yeah or? trying to make like a you know like a level yeah trying to make it all level and t so it's all all open it doesn't matter if you if, if, if <laughs> yeah, you, you just see the, the heads gently uh, gently bobbing if you ruin it it doesn't matter it's your mattress anyway yeah yeah <laughs> so this bit's not under warranty <laughs> So all the different layers. So we yeah. have from organic wools, organic cottons. So this is alpacas. organic wool. Wow, we're soft. <laughs> oh, so wow, we... so nice. I wish, I wish you could feel how soft this is. I can't. It's almost like um, it's nicer than cashmere. It's so, so nice and soft and delicate. Right. Okay. So, so... this is where when we, we we blow it all, so it comes in rope. So it uh, comes in lengths of rope. And then we, well it comes in in a, in, a, in a box, but then what we do, we blow it through here so it opens it all up so it just makes it all so, like, nice and clean, nice and So springy. air blows in to this room or air? air? Air blows it through, so what we'll do, we'll stand, yeah. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll feed it through here. Yeah. Oh, so so here we go. As, so it, as it comes into a box, it's, it's, it is open, but it's still... Yeah, it's 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 a little Still bit quite flatter. Yeah. yeah. So what we'll do, we'll feed it through, and then it goes through a fan. Right. And it gets blown and it gets laid, so it goes through that teasing process. Right. Okay. Teasing torture. Okay. So What's this. The weighing machine for that? Anything, or is it just? Yeah, no. Just we, we been there, or? No, no, no. We weigh out. So, so for example, in here, where this is um, within the Savoy, we've got some. There is some alpaca. Alpaca. So this is, this is the alpaca. No alpacas were harmed in the making of this mattress. No, we ate them afterwards. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. <laughs> so we've got alpaca, horse uh, tail, wool. Maybe so you have alpaca. cotton, you have cashmere, you have alpaca mohair. Fur. Mohair? So you have, you have, you have fibres like mohair and, yeah. and you have cashmere's, which tend to be the fine under hairs which come from the goat, so the cashmere goat. Is then you have the outer guard hair, and then you have yeah. the, the fibres which are right next to, um, right next to the skin. It's yeah. much finer, much softer, and their process really is to regulate temperature yeah. and wick away moisture. Right. Which is exactly what you want the top layer of a mattress to do. Of course. Because yeah. fibre, when we we're talking before about foams and memory foams and things like that, quite often they're closed cell and they don't they don't allow you to wick away heat, wick away temperature, wick away don't moisture. Don't you to breathe your body to breathe. It doesn't yeah. need to breathe as much. Right. So when you look at the mohair. This is a mole there, so it's a little bit finer. Yeah, yeah, you but can it's, see it's, it's, really it's almost nice like cotton wool, fire. isn't it? As you're pulling yeah, it apart yeah. there, it looks like cotton wool. Yeah, and that's what, when, you, when you're teasing it, that's Turn basically that. what you're doing. See how fine it is. Just lets your body breathe as that's the top layer of your mattress. And this is a really nice, really nice, clean English structure wool, which is beautiful when it's when it's hand teased yeah yeah lots, you lots can see layers. that it's yeah. really really nice yeah. this is this is part one of the process for vir for both uh, mattresses and divan section okay so all the fabrics everything we do is either is, is covered in a fabric usually and the fabrics all start the life up here in the cutting and sewing department okay let's go have a look so cutting and sewing now these are all finished stuff actually these are all some of the stuff which waiting to go out on our on the yeah. export do you have any um do you have any fabrics that customers send you? Because yeah, it's something lots. that they want doing themselves. Yeah, lots. Yeah. So we work with our a range of our own existing yeah. fabrics, yeah. and we work with a range of uh, customers' own materials. Which, right. Um, the only thing that we need is um, is, is effective their, their flame retardant certification. Yes. And then we can use it. Other than that, we'll have to interline it off or, or treat it. <laughs> Shells. This is Max from Walker Williams. Hiya. Shirls cuts. Every mattress border that comes in, Shirls cuts. 
This is Baruti. Hi Baruti. Hi Jill. And Max. Bar Baruti soles, fantastic seamstress. Right. Soles, everything from our bespoke to our standard materials. Yeah. We'll go through Baruti. So we use a, a range of different tickings, different fabrics. Yeah. Some customers own, some which is our own. So if you look at this yeah. one, this Recognize is recognise this logo. This is our own, so this yeah. is this is the um, the Burgess Rose logo. So this is the what this is the mattress cover before this it's is, on the mattress, is this that is right? the mattress cover before it's on the mattress. Yeah, yeah. So everything when it comes through will be quality checked by Shirley. Yeah. But then made up the, we'll make up the um, the list, we'll have the, the board the, so the logos attached to it, we'll have the labels. So this is actually a job which is going out um, overseas. So we start off with one of the uh, with a works order which is attached to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So this will then be kitted up together so the tape will go with it. Um, the labels will go with it. Yeah. The handles will then then go with it from over here. Yeah. And then this will follow through. So with every with every order that goes through production, there's two work orders. One starts with a spring. One starts with a fabric. And they come through the process and meet in the middle. And they meet yeah. up. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. And if they don't meet up, yeah. then they don't belong together. <laughs> <laughs> what are these? Mini. <clears throat> these are mini mattresses. <laughs> these are cheeses. Right. We call them. But cheeses. These are going to go to. Um, one of our many, one of our customers, yeah, and in their showroom, they will have these, and we'll we'll upholster them right. fully as though they're like a little mini mattress. So they're samples, and, it, and, it, and they will see what's inside the mattress. So the layer yeah. of fillings will go on the top. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to show the thing, but I'll show this. A, look, look, a sample for a retail shop, so you can have it stitched up as a mini mattress, and then you can just try it out in the shop. Some customers have not their own their own logo. Oh yeah, so these are the handles for the side of the mattress all, yeah, yeah. being custom done. Yeah. Yeah. So a packet of handles for the sides of the mattresses and they've got their own logo on the on the handle. So the borders will all start the life through here, so so Matt, am I right in saying so the, the, the girls get all the fabrics and everything ready for the order. Yeah. Once it's all together, they pack it, they put an order a sort of label with it. Yeah. And they bundle them up here ready to go over to the factory floor and they've got their own version of this and then the two travel along the the conveyor belt if you like and then they meet up in the middle and you've got Exa one finished ex exactly mattress. right exactly That's amazing right. So, the stack. And, it, and at each process when when they go through the process you can see that each person when they do it will do a quality inspection check and they'll sign to make sure it's okay so they so put their name to it literally they put their name to it yeah so amazing. the date when it went through so then that'll be signed so it, so look, can I just show, I want to show this. So look, it's all in one piece, all packed together, and then they sign off to say, yeah, this is this was my work, and I stand by it. And there's loads of them here ready to go through, and then the guys next door are doing the same thing along the production line. Exactly, yeah. At, at every process, so the mattress goes through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different stages where yeah. it's signed as it goes through, and six on, on the upholstery section. Mattress so, cutter, machinist, spring assembler, side stitch, filler, tape edge, tufter slash inspection. Then you've yep. got on the other side, inspect pack, upholsterer, frame prep, frame assembler, machinist, and divan cutter. Wow. Yep. Wow. So the only thing that's missing from, from uh, this point, which yep. is actually added and sewn in when it goes to the girl's sewing, yep. is because mattresses, although you can have whatever you like inside, yes. on the outside you need to ID them. Yeah. So they will be ID'd, then the majority which come through will have the Burgess label on. Yeah. Towards the higher end, they'll be embroidered as the ones we've seen. Yeah. So they embroid that onto the base of the bed. Embroid onto it. And, and there's one I recognise there. Which there's one which say. you may recognise there, which a special um, that one. Which is uh, one of yours, you need, Max. Which is uh, uh, Walker, Walker Williams. Williams logo. Look at that. There it is. Walker Williams, first class hotel apartments. Burgess, the Burgess Bed Company, exclusively handcrafted for yours truly. And then handmade in Britain, even in that's in the gold, which is very, very cool. Every piece of upholstery fabric which comes in yes. or goes out yeah. will go through Jane. Nothing gets past Jane. Nothing gets past Jane. So whether, it, whether it's the orders coming in, the scheduling of the work, yeah. or the processing it, yeah. and the cutting of it, yeah. everything will, will, will pass through Jane's Which hands. is why her desk is the closest to the stairs. So no one can get past. Literally, yeah. None, sh none shall pass. None shall pass. So you're now seeing before. Yeah. Before this goes down to its size, this is with all those hand tees which you've got on. Yes. This is basically how deep the mattress will look before it gets tufted down to the regular. So wow. If you feel, so it's it actually feels like it feels like a cloud bursting. Yeah, it the does. Yeah. yeah. So soft. So this is this is the one that I practically made myself. All by yourself. All yeah. by myself. Yeah. 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 This is one with the. I sprinkled some horse hair. Yeah, that's the one with the big hole in the middle where there's a big dip. Where you <laughs> that's put, the yeah, big yeah. dip. The, we call this one the big dipper. It's a new, yeah. a new model we're yeah. trying. 
Wow. So what have they done? Does this come off anyway? What's because that's this isn't what I put on, is it? This is something different again now. No. So this is other layers that have gone on the top. So you've had on top of that. Yeah. You've had the you've had the loose layers which have gone on. Yeah. Then you've layers of wool and layers of wool cashmere. So, so which under gone this on the one is the horse hair that I did. Yeah. Now there's you've got also this. there's also a mole hair on the top of that on, on top of that. It's also silk. Oh, that's the, the one that the guys. The silk which the guys were, were putting joking, on the top yeah. of that. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. no. But you can see they put. Um, that, that will be a full layer of that, and then there'll be other more hair that fits on the top. Right, okay. So what we need to do now, now is we need to keep all this looking tidy. Yeah. And then, Chris, what we call tape edges. Right, so okay. We'll put a tape, a binding tape, which goes all the way around. Yeah. Which basically seals the mattress together, so it's, and it's, in, in mattresses, it definitely is a really, really tough, very, very skilled job to be able to do. Yeah, it looks it. He's literally sealing the edge now of the, of the material and the sideband together. Yeah. And it's so important to be done right as well, I guess, because there's so, a lot yeah. of pressure on that. And it's, it's visible, so... Yeah, and of course it's... it's yeah, it's, yeah. No pressure. Look at, the, look at the quality of the stuff. Isn't it amazing to, to the, the sounds and the the all the noises, the, the the smells of British manufacturers? You know, the, the factories buzzing and humming. I think it's amazing. And look at the quality of the stuff, and to see the made in Britain labels on things, and that's really, really it makes me proud. It really, really makes me proud. So, as everything that we when we say everything's built, so we bring in our timber effectively comes in raw. So yeah, it's literally. You see, we have our, our timber section is actually a. a it's a, um, a frame building, frame yeah. making, yeah. then you're in timber section. So yeah. whether it's whether it's something that's relatively standard, yeah. like a divan, yeah. or it's something that's a little bit more bespoke, like some of the designs, everything will everything will come through here. So, so it literally comes in this end as raw wood. Yeah. And by the time it gets to that end, you've got a, the, the almost finished and product it's a frame. frame. Yeah. yeah. And then the frames will then start to move. And then this they go way. this way down the line. Yeah. Through through production. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. So you can see, this is a really nice looking fabric, all button and pleated, handcrafted. Simple, our, our simple system of, um, of attaching the side rails to the foot rail, which means a bed assembly can be done in about 10 minutes. Yeah. So this is obviously the headboard, and then the, the, there's a beam, presumably, that exactly, attaches yeah. there. There's one there, so the, there's one there. And then yeah. the mattress sits on that. So the two, two, two side rails yeah. and a centre supporting rail from yeah. here. The same at the foot end. Yeah. But look All at the, the finish, this is the kind of thing you'd see in Harrods, you know, look at the finish. It's just, everyone's so proud of their individual departments and each little job is done with such love and care and you actually really can see it in the finished product and just the way things are so, everything's perfect and you look at it on every angle and everything's right, nothing's, there's no corners been cut. Even on the bits that you don't see. So I'm with Ian and uh, Ian's quite, quite famous with us and now at Burgess Bed because Ian's the chap who actually uh, handmade the incredible, four, what is it, four meter by three meter sofa, uh, all in one piece, and took a lot longer than you thought. Is that is that fair to say? Yeah, I've been laughing. That's gonna. Yeah, it has its ups and downs. Yeah, and how many how many buttons does it actually have on it? Do you know? Originally, there was possibly four hundred. I think it was about two hundred and ninety. Two hundred and ninety individual buttons, and you've done every single one of them by hand. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be nightmares now. Yeah, he's just getting over it. Because this is normally, I guess, the kind of stuff you would normally work on, straight, flat, easy, and then. But obviously, working on site as well, because you were at, you were. You were looking at it at different angles and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine that this is all flat and then he's doing these by hand. So each one is the same distance from that one, but it's got to be the same distance from that one. And they, these have got to be the same distance from them. Yeah, they're so skilled. Look, I mean, look at it, it's amazing. And you think a machine had done it, it's so precise. And how, how do you get these folds? Is that new or is that, is that the way you... Yeah, yeah. And then folding it and then pushing it in and then and then and then putting it in just to keep them in place. Keep them in place, yeah. Yeah. But it's the way that every one of them looks the same. <laughs> Try to anyway. 
amazing. Thanks you. Yeah. Come and stay with us. Let me know when. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. If and you don't have to go anywhere near that sofa if you don't want it. Oh, clear it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then we're making the sprung divan. Yeah. The pocket spring system goes in there, then we're laying them there with, with natural materials and wool for this particular model. Yeah. Which will give that a little bit of insulation, a little bit of support, and then this will go to be part of a sprung frame. All right. And then this will be fully upholstered. Yeah. Okay. So when we when we when we were talking about, I mean, like with the mattresses. Yeah. And with it, the upholstery is the same. Some of the ranges on on the upholstery will have. Um, basically strip studs. Yes. As you get higher up the range, uh, more discerning customers will want products that are more handcrafted. Yes. So each of these studs which are going onto this model in a customer's own fabric will be um, will be hand studded. It's a beautiful fabric, isn't it? So customers send you this. Customers said, own fabric. This is what I want for the headboard. Yep. Yep. Each stud is all put in by hand. Yeah, every and again like the hand. job before, it's an incredibly difficult skill. Craig makes it look very easy, but actually getting them all in line and getting them in process. And is that's very, the thing, because you guys are so good at it. When you know, when you when you look at it, you think, well, how difficult is it? But then when you have a go, it's, you realise it's yeah. near impossible, and yeah. it just makes it look so easy. So again, here, this is one of our models, which is our Coco model, which again it takes a it takes a scroll, yeah, and it takes a button and pleat. So what Martin's doing here is basically he's doing a similar job to what Ian was doing, yeah. So he's finishing off the, the button and pleating work. So he's already done the button and pleating work, yeah, with the folding, but now he's doing the buttoning. In. So this is a range that we do. It's real, well, you can see it's a really popular. Yeah, I can see really why. Popular it's range oh, you can see this one's a bit more yeah. finished, isn't it? Yeah. It's just look, get this, but look how beautiful this is. I know I keep saying it, but I'm just so proud of the quality and standard of work of the products that British people create. Why would you buy any other headboard from some massive conglomerate that just imports them from China when you can buy them handmade here in the UK? For a better price and a better product. So, so what, what's the what's so this the process, now? Matt? This will now be pressed in order to be tufted. So when you get the tough patterns as they lay through, we have to get them in because it's through. well when we when we turn this table over. Yeah. You'll see it'll compress it. Yeah. And then to it to hold all the fillings and everything in place. Yeah. We have to put through a tuft. Okay. So. Oh yeah, look at this. Look, look, look get ready. It's squishing it down. Look. All that horsehair I packed in there is getting squished. Uh, can, uh, is, is that that's by design that it's squishing down one corner? Is that is that right? Yeah. It takes. Well, no, it'll do it all level, but it takes. It's as the air goes round. Yeah. It 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 passes round, so it will all go down to the same thing. So it. Oh, so I get it. Yeah. So the air's getting pushed to one one way. Yeah. 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 And then that'll start. The resistance will stop, and it'll. Yeah. Pass there. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, in terms of our next investment. So the deeper the mattress it is, the more important it is to actually try and make sure it's square when it goes into the tufting table. Yeah, and it's all so it's all level out and balanced. And, yeah, and well, because once the tufts are in, yeah, they, they, they've got to be lined up. So yeah, and all the bits that will hold it in place. So yeah, right, okay, got it. So you want to start so many inches from the from the edge, depending on the size. Yeah. So they look so it looks square. So just talk us through what's happening here, Matt. So the, obviously, the, all, all so of the material now is now compressed. All the material is compressed. Yeah. So what we've got to do to get those really lovely crowns. Yeah. And the fluff and the comfort of the mattress. The crown is the is, the is the is the dome. Yeah. Is the dome bit, yeah. So what we'll do, we'll push through these these tufts, which are wool on the end. Yeah. They'll come through the other side. Yeah. And then we'll pop a button on the on the other side. So then they, they actually they they look. Um, they look like little bits of fabric, but actually really, really strong. Right. Okay. So, and then when we pop the button on the other side, yeah. When the mattress then expands again, when it comes out of the compression, yeah. Those will stay. So the, the length of the tuft will depend. It will determine. We'll determine the how. Yeah. Yeah. So normally the the, the narrower the tuft, then 
uh, the shorter the tough then the more done that you'll get because the, the indentation in the mattress will be, it'll be bigger. And, and, and is there a, because obviously a customer wouldn't know enough to know I want an X length tuft. So is there any reason why you'd have a, an X long one or an X short one other than just the mattress is? Part of it for that would actually sometimes if you, if you go for uh, a shorter tuft that yeah. can make a marginally um, firmer mattress. Right. So what we'll sometimes do, if there's a mattress which uses the same spring, which a customer wants it particularly firm, yeah. then we might put it in with a shorter tuft. Right, and okay. So uh, the tufts will vary anything from sort of seven and a half inches up to kind of 11 and a half inches, something right, like Right, okay. That. And what if, if you had somebody who, um, you had a husband and wife and, and she wanted a, a, a harder mattress and he wanted a softer one, could you potentially do longer tufts one side and shorter tufts the other? No, we'd time to change his wife. <laughs> no, what? I would never upset a woman no, with a big what stick. What you tend to do, you would have half of the side. We'd, we'd make we'd, it split. We'd make a, yeah, split what, what we'd do is we'd have a, we'd either put a split tension spring yeah. or we'd alternate the fillings. So what quite often we'll do um, a one half medium, one half firm mattress. So it can be done in a number of ways. So over a Gary that you saw before, yeah. where you join the spring together, when we looked at the, the, the uh, thickness of the wire of the yes, spring the wire. Yes, the wires, yeah. So we might put a thinner, a thinner wire on the side that they want softer and a thicker wire on the side that they want right, firmer. Right, okay. So it's more than just the tufts, it's actually more than the, just it's the, the tufts, gubbins yeah. as well. It's the because the problem inside. is if you, if, you change the, if you just change the length of the tuft, yeah. what you'll tend to get then is you'll get one side of the mattress which is higher than the other side of the mattress. That's funny though, because isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <you're just laughs> not, not, not when it comes back under warranty and says, hey, my <laughs> mattress is the wrong size. My husband keeps rolling onto yeah. me, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what more we can do is, as long as you're using the same size tufts and it's gone at the same level, yeah. you can put an extra layer of filling or an extra layer of padding or a tougher layer of filling up, yeah. something like the, uh, the coconut fibre over there, yeah. which I'll show you in a minute. And then that gives, to, to take less of the uh, less of the available spring bounce out of it. Right, by okay, it dampens it a bit. Dampens yeah. the spring, yeah, exactly. Okay, perfect. Hey Bill, imagine carrying this mattress upstairs. This is seven foot by seven foot. Look at the size of that. Mad, isn't it? How big this is. When you compare it, look, look at this. This is a, that's a king size. That's a big, big bed. And look at this one next to it. <laughs> oh, we've got to get for the uh, for Ormsgate Court Hotel. I'm going to get a nine. I'm going to get Matt to make us a nine foot by nine foot bed. So what we've done down here, you can see where the tufts have gone through and the yeah. buttons. So you can see where they've stayed at the length we were talking about, and all the other fillings have relaxed and come back. And that's what's really created all the domes on the way through. Yeah. So you can change the tufting pattern, you can have your own unique pattern, but basically what these tufts are doing, it's to hold the fillings in place. Yeah, because we're using lots and lots of natural fillings and they're all loose. If you didn't tuft them in place, yeah. the fillings would move around and you create wells into the mattress. So yeah. the tufts hold them all in place. So soft. So soft, but once you go through the softness, you're actually into the spring. Yeah, you support. You can comfort. feel it's soft and supportive. It's and that's why with a natural mattress, it's important that you turn them. Yeah. Because over a period of time, the natural fibres will settle a little bit. Yeah. But once you turn it, they'll all recover and regenerate on the bottom, and yeah. then you work so, on the next layer. Yeah. So you turn it to keep those yep. the, the all the organic materials inside turning. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'll do now, Alex will go around. She'll have a look. She'll check on it. She'll check the dimensions. She'll check the tailoring. She'll check the shape of it. Yeah. Check on the tension, check the tufts, and then we packaged up. I don't think you have any problems with this one, boss, because I was involved with this, and it's, it's particularly well made. This one, it's a, it's a particularly fantastic example. <laughs> Dee's going to be um, disappearing you, in a, gonna be gonna be leaving <laughs> in a few shortly. weeks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank so you. Gita works now. Uh, well, basically a little bit of everything now, don't you, Gita? So whether it's order processing, yeah. admin control, yeah. raw materials ordering, checking, sampling, everything. Because as a small team, as a small office, it's hard to have an individual role. So everybody gets involved in a little bit of everything. Yeah, and inquiries, I guess, as well. Do you guys deal with all the inquiries? Yeah. From all, the everything, everything all in here. here. Yeah. 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 Busy then. And we normally have Trevor sat over here who's an accountant, but uh, he only works two and a half days a week and we find right, for accountants okay. that's about enough. Yeah, that's, that's all yeah. you can sort of tolerate, yeah. You can probably tell that I've had a great day today. It's been such good fun and I had no idea, and I guess you didn't either, of what goes into making a real quality mattress. 
everybody is so proud of their individual departments and I'm so proud to see British well-made manufacturing in the UK alive and well and buzzing and growing. If you're considering a bed, I strongly, strongly suggest you have a look at Burgess Bedges. I'll, I'll put a link to their website in the description below. You can click on that and go through and have a look for yourself. From entry level all the way up to the big bucks, I strongly suggest you invest, and it is an investment in a Burgess bed. Matt, thank you so much for today. No, thanks for taking the time, Sam. I hope in our little way, you've seen that the most important part of building any beds or building any mattresses is the combination between the best of raw materials and having great people to make them. And hopefully yeah. you've seen a little bit of both Yeah, today. we have. We have completely, yeah. All the different characters that are so proud, all different in their own way, but all have got one thing in common, which is the pride they take in their work and the, and the raw local materials that go into making the product a fantastic product and the most comfortable bed in the world.